Matthew 5, 23 through verses um, 23 through 26. So if you are offering your gifts at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. If I had to title this beatitude, I would call it peace on earth. Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace, has reconciled us back to the Father, but he has also invited us into a larger family. And when we're invited to this larger family, it is easily easy for us to be offended. So what does Jesus ask us to do? He's not so concerned about our gift, but he's more concerned about our relationship. He asks us to leave our gift or tells us to leave our gift at the altar and make things right with our brothers and sisters. Today, we have a lot of people who are gifted, but I believe today the church needs those who are peacemaker. And at the end, he shares about the one who has accused you to get things right with that person so that something worse does not happen to you. So I believe what the Lord is calling us to do in this time is to remain humble, but also to remain as peacemakers in this earth. And if 2024 is going to be a great year, the church has to bring peace on this earth. Would you pray with me? Father, I pray that you would empower us to be peacemakers on this earth. I pray that we would clothe ourselves with humility, that those around us would see that we serve a God that's alive. So Lord, use us this year like never before. In Jesus' name, amen.